Welcome to SWPL Gaming, where together we build up and add to an already great handheld gaming community. In this video, I'll be unboxing this little number right here, the small, slim, sleek RS60. Found this bad boy on AliExpress for just under $13. And if you're from the UK, post and packaging bumps that up to just under $14. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the unboxing right now. So here it is, the mini games player games power you can see a little bit of the detail here on the front of the packet right here 500 games in there apparently there's not much in regards to detail as to what this device can do or what it plays it supports various different languages it's in green 2.4 inch lcd screen it looks really slim let's jump inside this box empty you got your user manual here. It's literally just <laughs> one sheet of paper. You got your regular USB charging cable here. Nothing special. Quality certificate. Okay, it passed quality control and I'm supposed to trust this. So when I say this thing is really small, <laughs> it's actually really cute. It's, it's, it really is small and, and, and thin. You can literally just slide that in and out of your back pocket and just hope to God you don't break it. It feels a bit squishy on the edges here. It's, it's not particularly great in regards to build quality, but it's a really cheap device. So let's look at the front of this device. You can barely see the writing on here. And if I use the light, you're not gonna be able to see anything. It's really reflective as you can see there. But just for now, let's just put up with it. You got your on and off switch. You got your A, B, X, Y button. You got your speaker down here. I wouldn't imagine it's gonna be particularly powerful. You got your D pad, pretty clicky. You got your start, you got your volume control. Let's look around the side. You got your USB charging port. Around the back, it's completely bland, nothing on there, just your regular pale green. Nothing on this side here. At the bottom, nothing there either. And at the top, just as basic. Comes with a little screen protecting on there. Let's just pull that off. And it is really clean. There's no fingerprints on there. So that's a good look. Let's turn on the device. Right, looks like I'm gonna to need to charge it. It's got nothing in there, no juice, and, and it, it, it is on. Yeah, let me charge it and we'll be right back. <laughs> let's turn it on again for the unteeped time. I've charged the battery, let's go. All right, so we're selecting a language. I don't know if you can hear that. It's almost like the charge was too powerful for the device. That buzzing sound, <laughs> kind of scary. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my hands. We'll move that to English. 501, so you've got your Contra, Final Mission, Super Bear, not sure what that is. Turtles, Double Dragon, okay, a few. All right, let's have a look at that Double Dragon and let's see what we're doing with that. Okay. It's not bad on the sound. Let's have a look. All oh, right, so you press the volume key and it just sort of goes in a cycle of loud, loudest. Okay, we'll keep it medium. Let's bring that in for you guys. I mean, look how thin that is. That's crazy. Just so you can get an idea of how thin it is. You know, there's my thumb drive and there's this here. Feels like it's playing a little quicker than normal. If this is the regular speed for Double Dragon, guys, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know. Wow. Okay, Double Dragon seems fairly decent. Let's see what else we got on here. So when you press that reset button, it goes right back to whatever language you want again. It's not even just leave. Super Bear Bros. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Some recognizable titles. Obviously, they've made the name different. You know, that must have something to do with copyright laws, but they might the look. That's what they're getting away with.
it sounds garbage, I'll be honest with you. But, you know, once you can get past the sound, it is quite playable. Mario. Let's have a look at something else. Guys, it's got some really good titles here. Yep, yeah, let me play this. Who remembers this game? Controls are responsive, you know. They really are. Wow. This is actually bringing these memories back to me. Forget how fun these games are to play until you actually just get to them. You know what? This is all right. Build quality isn't great. I'll be honest, it's not it's not the best I've I've come across, but for this price point, can't really complain. Excite bike. Let's see what else is on here. It's annoying that you've got to keep selecting the language you want as well. Spider-Man 2. I'm sure there's probably a few duplicate games in here, but there's enough to keep you occupied and a lot of these titles are recognisable if you can get through the names. Not too shabby. It's playing NES. It's got the toes. I'm a Michelangelo guy. Oh, the colour's not so good here. <laughs> wow. It's still responsive, but man, it looks hella bad. I don't know if you can see what I see, but Michelangelo looks a bit messed up. No run. Well, that's turtles. When you've seen it for yourself. This tiny little, almost <laughs> credit card shape type of gaming device. It, do you know what? It's it's actually pretty cool. I do like the form factor. I'm not even going to lie to you about that. I like how slim it is, how sleek it is. You can just slip it into your little top pocket if you've got your little work shirt on and that. I think that this will be great as a little gift for someone or even just to just carry around with you just to keep yourself occupied when things get real boring and you may have forgotten to bring any handheld devices with you. The price speaks for itself, but even though it's so cheap, it's still not as bad as you think it would be. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you like about this device in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.